Uh, this question is points that intersect with cars. So you want to return the number of integer points on the line that are covered with any part of a car. So what you are giving is the list of list of integer. So this is a range. This is also another another range, and this one is the last one, right? So let's look at this. So from three to six. From one to five, and then from four to seven, right? So you want to count as you know how many, how many cars are on this line, right? So from one to seven, you know one is having a car, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there are seven cars, right? And yeah, technically, basically, you want to just return how many cars in one line. So this is one line. So, uh, how about this? One, two, three, and five to eight. So, one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. Three plus four, seven, right? So, if you notice that we can actually use hash set and then add the you know, add every single uh, current index into the set and then we return the size. So it doesn't matter it's overlap, that is doesn't matter, right? We want to know is intersect, point that intersects. Alright, so if we hash set return the set of size you traverse the Nums, nums array. Make sure you know the starting point, which is num target is zero, and make sure you know the ending point. It has to be equal num target at one, and then you increment every single time. So result of add at i would be pretty much what you need. So let me run it. Submit. Cool. All right. Um, yeah, you can definitely use content array. Doesn't matter. That's just. I mean, you should be supposed to be a same, same answer. And yeah, definitely save a lot of space for sure. As said, you only include a library in in integer array. You don't. All right. Time and space. Basically, this guy. Time is this guy, right? So let's look at the time. Time is all of n, and this is all of you know every single nums. You have a range. So all of n times all of d, right? d is a distance from num that get 1 minus num that get 0, right? So n d is the time. And then for the set, the worst case, you still add every single value, the index into the set. So time and space are the same, all of n times d. So this will be the solution. All right, peace out, bye.